Welcome back, welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Uh, today we're gonna be playing another best of one deck, just doing a quick video. So I want to kind of play around with a couple of brews. Um, so this is a best of one artifact deck uh, that leverages off a best of one sideboard thanks to Karn. Uh, so I threw together a bunch of cards, hence the artifact pile. Um, there's a theory behind it, but we'll see how good in practice it works. So effectively what I was trying to do was play a bunch of artifacts to make tokens with Sahili and Sai. Um, leverage those artifacts uh, to either make an army, make big constructs, and then use Mystic Forge as a draw engine to play stuff off the top of our library. So running through some of the cards, uh, we have a couple Mox Ambers. Uh, we do have a number of legendaries um, in Sai, Sahili, Tez, and Zajid that can all make blue mana off of it. Uh, Sahili can also make red mana, which isn't super relevant. Um, Fountain of Renewal, early life gain, this is going to be a slower deck. Uh, can also draw us a card late game. Um, then we have uh, Guild Globe, which is basically just a card that will replace itself. Uh, and we can sacrifice it to make two mana if it's a pinch to catch, cast some of our like colored spells. Uh, treasure map is kind of a card draw engine. It's a way to kind of filter our draws. Uh, might be right to play more than two of these. We'll see how the numbers work. Uh, we got Sai, Sahili. Don't want to go the pure four of each because they're dead cards in multiples. Uh, Chromatic Lantern in place of. Uh, the power stone so instead of this one where'd you go power stone it's the one the let's see yeah so instead of power stone shard so the reason being is i'm playing a couple golos uh, i want to see how that works it's an artifact chromatic lantern can let any of our lands play golos uh, ability um, so we have that Karn, card advantage, makes tokens that get bigger with more artifacts, works well. Uh, other Karn uh, can tutor up in our sideboards. We have a number of silver bullet artifacts that are really good. Um, it can also turn our excess artifacts into attackers. Uh, Mystic Forge is a way for us to play off the top of our deck, similar to an experimental frenzy style, uh, but it looks at colorless. This also allows us to play cards in our hand, so it's not as restrictive. Um, Golos lets us pick a land of our choice. We have a number of unique colorless lands as well as a Field of the Dead mini package that I want to see if we can hit with enough consistency just to make more blockers. Uh, Tezzeret, just a one of, draws us some cards, makes some tokens. So you see a theme, it's like make tokens, draw cards, and kind of try to grind out advantage like that. Um, so I have Zajid. Uh, Zajid can be played for 4 mana, it's a 5-6 flyer. Want to see if there's any credence to this card. Uh, a couple of Ugins makes all our other spells cheaper. So Ugin in the conjunction of Mystic Forge basically means all our small stuff gets played for free and then a bunch of other things get played for dirt cheap. Mana base wise. So base blue deck obviously. I'm playing a couple one of lands. So where they're available for scry lands just to filter a draw. Um, so basically trying to hit one of each color. Uh, that can be tutored up with Golos if need be. Then we got a number of utility lands. Arch to draw cards, Blast Zone as removal, Cryptic Cave to draw a card, Field of Ruin versus Field Decks, Field of the Dead ourselves, Interplanar Beacon for our Planeswalkers, Karn's Bastion for Proliferate, Mobilize District as a creature, and a one of Scry Land. So we got some Scry effects in there. In total we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 unique card types for lands. So we'll see if that's enough to trigger a uh, field. Sideboard wise, um, there's only 14 cards, but it's a tutor board. So didn't really see much more that we needed. If we want to clean, do a clean amount, we can just do two meteor golems just as top end. Uh, so Graph Digger Cage shuts off graveyard stuff from uh, them targeting. Sentinel Totem can exile their graveyards. Amulet is safekeeping is a way to tax like burn or stuff like that that targets us, but also makes creature tokens from say like Esper Heroes smaller or even zombies. 
spyglass when we need to shut off planeswalkers or like say a flip search for a scanta chaos wand against spell based decks uh, i put the third oh, sorry the fourth chromatic lantern in the board in case we need to tutor for it if we don't draw it with a golos out crucible when we want to have the uh, field of ruin uh, kind of line destruction approach uh, magister scepter against slower decks we can try to use this as a way to take multiple turns with karn's bastion we can also proliferate to try to get extra counters to take extra turns with it uh, Golden Guardian is a pseudo-removal spell that can then also uh, create tokens. So say they have a hero of Precinct 1, we can fight it, flip it, and start making 4-4s. Four Icy Manipulator, if they're kind of more a feather style, we can keep tapping a creature down. Uh, God's Pharaoh Statue, this tax effect. Immortal Sun, obviously, versus Planeswalkers. And Meteor Column, when we need to blow stuff up. So this is very much a pile. Um, not a clue how this will perform, but that's where the fun comes. I'm going to play best of one unranked. Uh, play a couple games here. So how's everyone doing? Uh, so this is another quick video. I uh, don't have the time to do a full stream right now. Um, so this will be put on my YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. If you obviously enjoy the content there, looking to show your support, subscribing is a free and easy way. Same if you want to check when I do go live, following on Twitch will give you a notification when I do so. Um, so this hand here, it's not bad, Guild Globe will probably draw us in. We have Sahili that can instantly make a token with Mox Amber, and then we have the Temple to Scry. And as we wait for our opponent, one last point of... Uh, Information, if you are planning on purchasing cards through TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link listed in the video description below. Oh, we're going to keep the line. Um, okay. Guess they don't want to... They thought we were probably scapeshift. Um, if you are considering purchasing cards off TCG Player, uh, if you follow the link in the description below and purchase your cards, it just lets them know that I sent you there. It's a f way you can help support the channel by doing a purchase you were planning on already doing. Uh, so if you're interested in Commander 19, Throne of Eldraine when the spoilers come out, or any other goodies you've been holding off on, if you can, it'd be greatly appreciated. Enough pandering. Let's play some magic. Uh, this hand's a bit slower. We have a Mox Opal that doesn't really do anything. Let's try. Just lead on the island. So the Mox Amber here has more utility. Okay, so against Mono Blue, we're going to have a hard time. Also drawing a f another 5 drop against a counter spell based deck. Hopefully no Curious Obsession. Oh, this might be Mono uh, Blue White Flyers. Which is actually a bit better. Um, I'm just gonna play the Guilt Globe. If they have Spell Pierce, they have Spell Pierce. So we'll just pass the turn. Chromatic Lantern with Golos will be sweet. If we can get that going. Okay, so they have to ferry. Like, they could bounce our guild globe. It's a little awkward. Um, so, like this, it gets them to down tick, which they probably do anyways. Um, that protects us a turn if we go Mystic Forge. So we do need to see, like, we don't really have a way to directly pressure this right now. Maybe we get to draw a card off here. Very Miscreant's a card that I've never liked. I just, I never find to, that I draw them in unisons. Um, so Sahili here can be attacked by a Flyer. So if we go Sahili, we're still short of mana. Mystic Forge. I think we just go Karn here. Try to draw land. Karn also is a higher loyalty. So we do have both these lands so they don't actually turn on. So I'll pass 
next turn. Next turn we can go Sahili, play Mox Amber, play Chromatic Lantern. We'll attack Karn for four. Trust me, I have a plan. We can also look to go Golo. No, I think we do the Sahili turn first, and then we can set up Golos. So let's set up a Scry. Don't want the other land. So let's go Karn first. Let's see what we draw. Okay, so another Lantern. I think I'm going to go... Because I want to use Ugin with a turn where we can go off. Makes a token. Play out the chromatic lantern. So then we can have this become a copy of this. And then play out another chromatic lantern. So this is a way we could get a head on ramp. And it basically creates another token that way. So they can kill Sahili this turn, but it did help us ramp ahead. Next turn, uh, I believe this will add one mana of any color legendary, so it add a colorless mana. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mana can go Ugin. We can go Mystic Forge. No I will return. See if they bounce anything with Teferi. Don't worry, I got this. Okay, so we have Karn's Bastion. So I can go Ugin here. It'll die anyways, so we'll just kill the you Empyrean Eagle. Ah, I forgot about that. That was a misplay. So here... Let's attack in. Basically just make Don't it so they can't bounce Bol uh, Golos. And I'm just gonna get a scry land here. Utility lands in this case. Actually, blast zones pretty good here. We can just sack the blast zone to clear their board. One. So I've this is basically time. useless next turn. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we draw an untapped land, we can blast zone. So they're scaling up a bit more in this deck. So are just gonna go face. That's very interesting. Um, so here... I think we just... Does this tap for mana? Nope. So if note Mox Amber doesn't tap if we don't have the colorless. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna play the untapped land. We're gonna play the car note. Um, here. Let's crack Blast Zone. Because I don't think we can cast Ugin. We don't really have much to deal with the board. So let's just do... We can hold this on their turn. Let's just plus Karn here. So they'll probably give us the... Field of Ruin. 
Um, so we don't get an attack here. Because we only have these, they block anyway, so I think we just pass the turn. We're just trying to draw out. If they bounce to fairy, it gets rid of them anyways, that's fine. I'll protect you. Shalai is also okay, because we're not really gonna go targeted other than Ugin in the deck. That's all they attack with. It's actually pretty advantageous for us. Because then we can start getting Fountain to start gaining some life. Alright. Well, the Blast Zone's enough to get rid of them. Not sure if the opponent saw that. They're also not committing anymore to the board this turn, which is good. Uh, question is, do we go... I think we go Golos first. Oh, okay, so not bad. This is going to make uh, blockers for us. So let's go, it's two blockers, they have three, they can bounce one of our blockers, but we also have enough mana for Mystic Forge this turn, plus a line for Field, so let's start making Karnstrucks. Some solutions must be built. We'll go Mobilize Districts, and then just get this going. Zajid's ass uh, actually pretty good in this matchup. Got a 16 power here. Um, so we can attack in with these. It knocks Teferi down. So if they want to bounce, they got to get rid of Teferi. These aren't really going to do much on the ground. And I want it so Teferi can go away, so then that way we have kind of free reign with Golos and uh, our giant construct. I have a plan B. As soon as I think of one. So I'm actually gonna upkeep. Uh, no, I could probably just pay this for four mana. We can start now tailoring the top of our library with Mystic Forge to get better free stuff off it. It's actually not bad, they can exile our Golos here if they want. Or they can exile our Construct. If they give us another turn, it's probably not the best for them. Spark Devil. Oh, we got another Teferi. It baits them out. This does turn off Hanged Executioner. Here we go. See if any attacks. So we gain some life. Uh, so here. I think we go Mystic Forge. We're gonna pay a life, exile it. Cast Golos. Oh, that's sweet. So Sahili. Behold, new wonders. Tezzeret. Gain a life, make a softer. This 
will be over. A master builds with ease. So we'll guild globe, get the arch off the top of our library. Another blast zone's not the worst. Uh, how much mana do we have? One, two, th three, four, five, six, and then we can play. Can have Sahili. Um, so Sahili can down tick, make a copy of the Chromatic Lantern. And then we can play Golos ability again. So you become a target of you. I know how to stop um, I'm going to... I kind of want the Blast Zone, so they'll probably give it to us. So I'm going to uptick Karn first. Okay, so they'll give us the island here. We can now activate Golos. Um, that's free to cast. Get another land. Doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll go. Probably just set up the top of our library here. Actually, don't mind the treasure map. Uh, we don't. If we don't use it, we lose it. That gains us some more life. Keep this one. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. All right. So our attackers are fairly limited. So no attack. And the turn. So with Teferi, they need to decide if they want to bounce Golos or they want to bounce the, the Karnstruct. So they're going to do the Karnstruct. No, I am not making this up as I go. That's fine. Here goes nothing. That's fine. Screenshot. It's actually pretty funny. Without evasion, doesn't do too much. We also have Karn's Bastion to start getting this up closer. They also don't have the mana sink that is Shalai. They can keep drawing cards. They're at 33. I don't even know what's happening with our library right now. We're at 18. Okay, so we probably need a field of, or a nexus of fate, but then we can't play this in best of one. I think we need to just start attacking. Or have a Jason try to win. So our turn, we gain some life. Ooh, we got Karn. Excuse me. So I'm gonna get something with Karn. Uh, so here. It's 20 turns, it's not quick enough. This makes our creatures bigger. It also turns off to fairy. So let's go Immortal Sun. Play out the 
treasure map. Play out the lands. Play the alternative. We'll just tap the immortal sun. That gives us another big threat in the air. Uh, we got one mana open. It's just not letting us. Act Oh, we shut off our planeswalkers. I'm an idiot with the Immortal Sun. So I mean, we still have the passive abilities. Uh, so here, I think we just start attacking in. Yeah, so maybe Sorcerer's Supply Glass was probably a better pick. These ground ones aren't blocking anyways. Try to get some chip damage in. They can actually block somewhat okay here. So probably should have waited till we could have Alpha Striked. Kind of running out of options though. Okay, so we need a better... Mind you, against most decks, this is a probably an oddity where they're gonna go much bigger if we go wide. And just try to make a bunch of tokens and kill them in one swing. Yeah, that didn't really do much. That was a little bit loose in terms of plays. Okay, we have Ugin for next turn. Ugin does make stuff cheaper, so even in its sense, self is fine. Does this reveal? You may look at the top card, so opponent can't see. How many islands have we seen? Let's see if they attack with anything. They don't. Gain life. Aetherflux Reservoir would be sweet if we can ever kind of draw one. Or like, sorry, if we draw one. If it was legal in the format. Um, so I'm going to go Ugin here. This makes our stuff cheaper. Obviously it doesn't do anything, but... Like Mystic Forge costs one now. Uh, yeah, we'll just cast Karn. Uh, again, it's not. It's really just to kind of storm off in a sense. Like this costs nothing. We're just making a bunch of tokens. 13 cards in our library. So, don't want the lands, want to try to keep going. Yeah, so zero mana. Why 
won't you let me see what else? Put this out of the way. Guild globe. So we're kind of like still going off. Yeah, draw another one here. Chromatic lantern is free. Sahili is basically just another token. Oh, I can't cast you. Uh, no. Stop you. We're just gonna attack with everything other than Psy. Um. Field them. It's a pretty wacky deck. Uh, we've got no basics left. And a Karn's Bastion. Good to know. Pretty much out of cards at this point. That are really useful. Should have kept an eye to see if we have any artifacts left. Oh, they got time wipe. <laughs> That's actually just awful against us. Are you kidding me? Oh no, they can't cast it. Hey! In that case, I'll attack. Let them figure out the math. We obviously can't win if uh, after they time wipe. 18... Oh, if there's... I would have probably blocked and then sacrificed it to exile. Like, block here, exile that. Well, I'll see what they do here. If you are watching on YouTube and you don't want to sit through watching the opponent go through declaring blockers, feel free to fast forward or hit that two times speed button. It's odd that they have time wipe in a deck with that's creature heavy. Ah, one? Do you have any way to deal one damage? Uh, sacrifice an artifact, draw a card. Okay, I'll just end the turn. I don't think they can kill us on the crack back. We got six of these. Arena's glitchy as hell. So if we had just kept those tokens from the previous turn, we would have got there. They're priced into time wiping here, otherwise they're dead. Gonna sacrifice an artifact to draw a card. Um, so that's 
8, 11, 14. No blocks. We've actually insulated our life total quite a bit. Time wipe, bounce, Kefnet. I can do the Immortal Sun and then use the Planeswalkers. Ooh, that's nice. Yes, please. Okay. So now my planeswalkers are turned on again. I can get Karn, get, um, what should I call it? Uh, Bolus's, uh, the one that deals the damage on the player's upkeep, and then kill him that way. I completely forgot that this card had more text. We could have won this game probably a, a while ago. I've got it. So we should have it. Nothing they play really matters if we get it bounced. They can't bounce on upkeep. Even off cast, we make multiple creatures. Ugin can make a creature as well. Yeah, I just cash that in, which is fine. It's a free redraw. Gain a bunch of life. See if we just get them to concede. I will not be God Pharaoh statue. GG. So just doesn't matter. I should have floated a mana. I don't think it matters. It is the so just support. make as many threats as possible. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Uh, four cards, that's fine. Alright. Last turn. Game. In case they had anything funny. That was actually a wild game. The way we were able to pull it out was pretty sweet. And who would have thought we would have killed so many. Uh, let's run in. You know, that was pretty long and pretty much a demo of the game. One nearly half an hour. So I'm just going to wrap it up for this one here. If you're interested in the deck would like to see some more, I can... Uh, play a couple more games and have a bit more time with it but that's pretty much a demo we got to see sideboard play all the planeswalkers in that all the lands field of the dead combo golos combo everything in one uh let me know what you think in the comments i can play it a bit more if you'd like i uh, appreciate those who tuned in have a great one